Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Kibble Space Program. So in this episode we are continuing on with our amazing sun station. Now in this in this episode we do indeed make the the second module which is what you are currently looking at. It is small but of course I want to make sure that um, I ha there's a part limit for each module. So what I mean by that is I don't want to make a module that is 200 parts and then make another one that's 300 parts because that will cause lag eventually. So we want to make sure things are kept simple but look fairly good in the end. So obviously this ha has actually I believe less than 50 parts last time I checked. Obviously excluding the, the thrusters and everything that will you would need to actually get you into space. Now, um, yes, this design is pretty good. I didn't, you know, the first module that we created, uh, if you haven't seen it already, check it out, and it was in the last episode. Uh, I did include nuclear uh, atomic rocket motors, but I shouldn't have. I should have just taken them off. Um, you can see it right there. I'm actually attempting to dock. It took quite a long time for me to dock. This video was actually three hours long, and I've fast forwarded everything and skipped a few things here and there and if I hope most of you guys are actually happy with the the current video structure that I'm in doing because I'm, I'm really busy and stuff as well as that you know I, I don't think anyone's gonna watch a three hour long video I wouldn't you know it'd be quite boring anyway I think it's more entertaining to have a fast forwarded video now I think there was a bit of a weird bug um, with the game here I I had the module, I decoupled all the other rocket stuff that was attached to it, and but it wasn't I it was actually smashed off and then I decoupled it, but it still counted it as if it was actually connected. That there, uh, if you just there it is. You can actually see there's a decoupler part on the left there. And it, it thinks that there is a decoupler part, but there isn't because it broke off. Uh, I'm not too sure what happened with that, even though I pressed spacebar, and there we go, we successfully docked. And the weird thing about it was, the part that broke off had fuel, right? It was a fuel tank. And the current module that we have, somehow can, still thought that it was connected to that module. And so, I was actually throttling up, and no fuel from this module that you're looking at was being drained because I believe it was being drained from the the mod module that broke off. Um, I don't really know how it worked or what happened because you'll see in a moment. I was actually checking the the cheats to see if I accidentally had them on, but no, nope, they were definitely off, and I checked twice. So yeah, that's good. Now this took ages to get this thing, you know. Cl close as possible to the sun. You will see in a moment. I didn't get as close as I wanted to, but I'm still happy with it. And if you actually look there, uh, we passed a couple parts that we decoupled um, back uh, back then when when I got this thing into orbit. Um, and yeah, I have an idea for the station. It's sort of a weird, dangerous, well, very very dangerous idea I have. I, I believe in the film the. The sun, sunshine. They had a a spinning part to the to the station. You saw there. I was using my cheats. I was checking the cheats, not using cheats. What am I saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They have a spinning part. I'm fairly sure they have a spinning part, and I, I might want to actually do that for the station. So if you haven't seen already, there is a stock helicopter that some random guy created. I believe Scott Manny featured it, but it's not his. But yeah, he featured it, and. <clears throat> I, I want to sort of create an application of that for the station. So we'll have a module that actually spins, I if it's possible to do. It, it will take me a while to do it. I have I previously wanted to do that a long time ago, before the helicopter was even invented, the stock helicopter. But I, I failed at it because of the... The smoggy bay is just kept on... You know, it didn't have enough grip on on the parts. It was fairly weird. I'd actually have to show it to you so you can believe it but it's long gone. Also, I have a lot of ideas and I believe cinematic would be a good way to go. So if I do ever get time, 
maybe on the upcoming holidays, if I ever do get holidays or even a break, I'll make a cinematic as like a little special or something. Maybe for my 10,000 sub special, I'll, I'll do a cinematic. Something that you guys will enjoy, hopefully. And I need to plan that out as well. <laughs> I've been talking a lot. Talking too much. Anyway, um, also, if you are wondering about the download link for the, the current station, if you even call it a station yet, it's almost nothing. Uh, I will include the, the download link at the end of the series. So, w whenever episode that is, I'm assuming that it's going to take probably... Actually, I don't think it'd be too many episodes left. Probably four episodes maximum, really. Yeah, I mean, we've been going at this for quite a fast rate. Actually, the rest of the modules for the station, there are actually quite a few modules. Um, I'd actually have to include a picture, but if you just look up um, Sunshine Icarus on, on Google Images, you'll, you'll find the station, and yeah, it has quite a few modules just sticking out of it all over the place. I don't want to do too many of them, but I will have to do a couple just to make it look like the actual station. Obviously, and it has to suit it. Now, as you can see there, look how close we got to the sun. It's fairly close. Um, but the fuel right about now was actually halfway. And it appears that I wasn't actually playing KSP. Because, obviously, this was taking quite a long time. So I went ahead and did other things, other important things at, at the same time. Um, I think I'm not too sure if I mentioned this already. For designs of the week, I'm going to have rockets that will enable you to go to most planets and moons. Probably won't be the exact same rocket, but most, and it should be good. It won't be, it won't be a probe. It will actually be a, a capsule or whatever with kerbals inside, or maybe just a seat with a kerbal that you have to put on manually. Uh, if some of you are wondering, next episode will be Spore. I have a list now, actually. I wrote a list in in order of what what episodes I'm going to upload in order. So I have Spore, Designs of the Week, Mods, Minecraft Feed the Beast. I, I sort of regret that. It's sort of a not a very good series, actually. I, I'm trying to get rid of it, actually. I do enjoy it, but uh, it's not the best, best. I'm not very good at it. Um, subscriber designs and then the sun station so right now we're up to sun station next episode will be spoiled then designs of the week so yeah pretty good that will be for this week and then next week will be mods minecraft sub designs and then maybe sun station if I get enough time um, so if you guys have any tips or suggestions for the sun station I'm I'm open-minded go ahead and comment I wouldn't mind hearing some amazing thoughts that you guys have maybe Oh yeah, for this module, uh, I don't know. I don't, probably didn't even zoom into it properly, but I have some. I have some parts that you can the couple. I'm fairly sure I'm having. Can I? Yeah, there they are. You can barely see them. Yeah, I have modules where you can put a kerbal on, and there's actual there's an actual seat. It's like right in the middle of the station. There's three of them, and you can put a kerbal there. You can decouple, and there's there's an ion engine with two solar panels so in, in case of any emergency we can actually take a Kerbal back home to Kerbin but that would take quite a quite a long time to actually do so and but the only issue is they don't have any parachutes so we wouldn't actually be able to just land on Kerbin just like that we would actually have to rendezvous rendezvous with uh, another rocket or something like that around Kerbin and then you know safely land without killing the Kerbals or anything like that. Um, so yeah, overall, this station will be long. It will be a long station. It already looks quite long. And if you're wondering why I didn't do the disc, D-I-S-K, um, any wider, it's because of the lag, obviously. You know, lag is a, a top priority here, as well as the looks, aesthetic look. And here we go. Look how close we are. The sun is getting brighter. But obviously, we want to be as close as possible. And look at that. Oof. Very professional zooming in there. Trying to get my cinematic skills up. <laughs> um, so yeah, there we go. The Kerbal. I wanted to get some nice screenshots for wallpapers and stuff. I believe I did upload a, a theme pack. A Windows 7 theme pack. Some of you guys actually liked the theme pack I did. So maybe I'll, I'll do a couple more just on the, the sun station here. And I believe that guy there is Jebediah. Yep. Jebediah. It should be Jebediah. 
and I'm re renaming the vessel Icarus. That's what it's called. Anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Bye. Thank you.